Hey everyone, this is Lynette Chandler from Tech-Based Marketing. Today I want to share something pretty cool with you. I am right now in Google Reader and some of you may know that you can actually send some of the items in here that you find interesting. Uh, you can share it directly to Twitter, to Facebook or you know other places, email. And if you, if you look at it right here, there's the send to button. That's what they call it. Right. And if I click on it, you will see that I have a couple of options that are not native to Google Reader. As you see here, you, uh, there is my site. And if I click on it, you actually, let me move this screen just a little bit. And you will see that it's pre-populated uh, the WordPress right page with uh, a link to the article that was from my Google Reader and also the, with the title. And then from here I can actually edit the title and uh, put a little bit of note in here what I want to write and uh, I can write the post right away or I can save it as draft for later. And I'll show you how to do this. It's very easy. If you go all the way up here to settings and click on reader settings you will see a link here called send to alright let's click on that these are the options that come with Google Reader but I don't want that I want to go uh, down here where it says create custom link and and actually here you can you can add all kinds of links to all kinds of services and all kinds of websites so if you if you have more than one WordPress site you can definitely add them all here what I've done is I've actually create a custom link here and then I'm going to uh, type my an, a name for another blog which I have let's say okay and then this is the important part I'm gonna copy and paste a template which you can get by if you go to my blog and I'm going to paste this template URL here. This is the the thing that you will have to edit. First of all, you have to edit your blog's domain, of course. So that's the domain. And then I need to tell it whether it's in a folder or not. For this particular blog of mine, WordPress is not installed in a folder. It's installed in the main uh, root of the site so I'm going to delete that and then delete one more forward slash and then I'll leave the back the rest as that okay and then now it gives you option of adding icon URL to an icon I really don't have one but if you have one it's most likely faveicon.ico okay so now we're done I'm gonna click save well obviously there's no icon there as you see it's not loading the uh, image but that's fine it will work regardless of whether there's an icon or not so now let's go back to Google Reader and let me see here let me go back go down to okay that one alright uh, Maybe I look at this and I find that it's a pretty interesting post that I want to repost and, and tell other people about. I'm going to click send to now and as you see it's come up right here, Mom's Gadgets. And I'll click on it. It's loading on a new screen. And of course if I'm not logged into my blog I have to log in. And now, that, now you will see that the title is already pre-populated just like it was when I showed you earlier and of course uh, you know what to do when you're at this page if you're familiar with WordPress all right that's it from me say I hope this has been helpful and uh, if you have a couple minutes do drop by at our blog at techbasedmarketing.com forward slash blog and say hi to us